Hey guys, it's Roxanne from RoxanneLynch.com. Happy Thursday. It is a beautiful, beautiful Thursday. It got balmy warm. Did you guys enjoy that sunrise that I shared with you guys from sunny Alberta? It was absolutely amazingly red sky glow. I know I shared a little bit live this morning and I'm just so excited to be able to share with you some ideas and tips when it comes to really working aggressively in 2017, uh, really dominating your niche and really, you know, kicking butt in 2017. I am so excited for 2017. I know you guys are too. We had so many lessons and so many blessings. Hey Rose, I can't wait to say Happy New Year to everybody. So knowing that we have at our fingertips, we are just on that cusp of saying goodbye and being grateful for all the lessons and the learnings of 2016 and really bouncing forward with excitement and, you know, authority, really getting excited for 2017. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today because, you know, I have to ask you guys and you guys can put, you know, a thumbs up or give me a one in the comment section. Are you guys really ready? For 2017 are you really ready to and, and hungry for results within your business you know are you really are you ready to stand out and shine online to really differentiate yourself from the rest of, of what's going on within your world and to be excited about what's coming up because I have some ideas to share with you about content marketing because I was asked a recent question uh, from a fellow networker she's actually in real estate and she was saying you know does content marketing work you know for brick and mortar businesses you know does it work for you know other people rather than just you know my brothers and sisters that are building their businesses online, you know, home-based businesses, direct marketing. Hey Maria, so exciting, I know. So knowing this, I have to say a big resounding yes, a big resounding yes. Hey Andrea, knowing that, you know, first and foremost that we, those brick and mortar businesses, you could be a plumber, you can be, um, you know, with lawn maintenance, those guys and gals out there, they've already built blogs, they're already providing solutions and ideas, you know, they're providing ideas, whether you're an, um, a real estate lady, you know, all of our different businesses, I mean, I get notifications from my favorite clothing shop downtown. Those businesses, those brick and mortar businesses, they are with the times when it comes to being online. But still, and I have to confess because I did it, I've been where some of my other brothers and sisters are within this amazing industry, is that they're still tossing out their link. They're still hoping and praying that somebody just comes across um, a post of theirs about their product, their service, their opportunity, and they just hope that someone's going to join them. Someone's going to have interest. Someone's going to buy their product. And someone's going to inquire. And they're still just you know, running their social media page, um, because we have must have like over a dozen social media platforms. Now we have billions of people online and they're just hoping that someone sees them and joins them or buys their product. And hope and repetitive actions like that, um, I have to ask you, is that getting you the results that you seek? Is that getting you the leads that you need daily within your business? Is that getting you your sales and signups daily? Um, you know, for you to have the vision, whatever vision you have in your mind for 2017, is it going to get you there? You know, is it? You know, and to be honest and truthful with yourself and, you know, and have some hope, you know, you know, because there is hope. I do have some ideas, um, some options to be able to share with you today. Hey, Ellie, it's so good to see you, sweetie, because there's alternatives out there. And my dad used to say, you know, if you do the same thing over and over and over again and you're not getting any different results, that was something to do with, um, you know, that's the definition of insanity, you know, something like that. So I have to ask you, you know, are you ready to get different results in 2017? And if you're ready for that and you want that and that's within your vision, your goals and your dreams, then are you ready and prepared to start running your business a little bit differently? And I'm not saying changing the world. I'm just not asking you to spend a whole bunch more time. 
um, I'm asking you to change a few actions of your day using the same time that you're already spending, spinning your wheels, not getting very much, not getting the results that you're dreaming and visioning of, and do things a little bit differently. So I want to be able to share with you, because I remember my mentor saying, Roxanne, if what you're doing isn't working, are you willing to change? And I'm going, yeah, because I know this stuff works. Of course I want to change. I want different results. What I'm doing isn't getting any results. So yeah, tell me what to do, and I'll do it. And I did it. <laughs> I did it. I did it. And I'm exciting to share because I was where um, so many of my fellow, like I said, brothers and sisters, my marketers out there that have done what I've done. So I want to share with you, um, you know, when I begin to provide some different things to my friends and my family and, you know, my audience online, when I began to do a little bit differently, my business very quickly changed for the better. And so that's why I want to be able to share with these, these ideas with you. So first of all, if Understanding that you know content marketing is is an amazing way that you know you can build your business. So, and when I say you know online content, um, I'm talking like something like videos. I am talking about articles such as blog posts or your social media posts. I'm talking about images and inspiration. I'm talking about something that provides benefit and value. Um, content and training and inspiration and education posts to your friends and family and your audience that you're trying to build your business um, and yourself online. So the goal is when they run across this information now is that they are inspired to reach out to you and connect with you. You know, they are maybe interested and compelled to, you know, get to know more about you and your business and your product and your service and your opportunity. And isn't that what we want? We want people to come to us because you know, chasing people, there's just not enough time in the day to chase people. So what we have to do is create methods and means where people are um, coming to us, right? They're coming to you um, to, to help themselves and their family with whatever struggles that it is. So eventually, you know, opening up those doors. So those three points, those three points I wanna share with you is, you know, first of all, really dig deeply into who are you trying to attract? And, you know, I remember my mom saying, you know, if you're just trying to be friends with everybody, you know, it's just not going to work. You, you've got to be really focused on who you want to attract. Um, who, who is um, your ultimate avatar? Who is your target market? Who um, are you really wanting to reach out and connect with? Because we can't connect with everybody. But if we can narrow the focus a little bit more, you're gonna have greater success, even though you might be connecting with less people, they're specifically targeting um, those people. So think about that. Who are you really trying to attract? Um, and if you want some help with that, you can send me a personal message. We can go through some target marketing and uh, and build on that. I'm very happy to help, help you guys do that. So the second one is, what questions, um, concerns, or struggles, or pains do they have? So think about that. Once you've identified who your target market is, the next step is to really go into problem solving mode. What are these people thinking about? What are their struggles? What are their concerns? You know, maybe that they're a traveler. So you're thinking about, okay, what if I was um, having a traveler, what are their concerns? What kind of tips, you know, um, what concerns would they have as a traveler? You know, or what concerns would they have if they're battling diabetes? What concerns would they have if they're battling arthritis, you know, and an inflammatory body? Um, what struggles would they have, you know, maybe if they're my age and we're starting to be, you know, worried about our skins and our crow's feet and our wrinkles and all that kind of stuff. So think about their struggles, their potential hurdles, and get into their mind and get into problem solving mode when it comes to that. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you guys so much. That's so sweet. So, and that just moves you into, and women and men, you know, but me as a mom, me as a woman, I go into problem solving mode all the time, right? So think about that. It's like, okay, this is the, these are the people I really want to attract. These are the questions, struggles, problems, pains they might have. And then go into problem solving mode. Go into our nurturing, our helping, our encouraging, our inspiring, enlightening women that we are. And how can you then create, think about content and think about solving those pro, uh, ideas of their problems in your head. Hey Michelle, good to see you. So go into um, education mode. Go into help 
you know, mum mode and really take charge and start saying, okay, if this is a traveler, uh, what two tips can I give them to get through the gates faster, you know, get through their admittance? Um, you know, what three tips can I give them to look for bed bugs, you know, and how to get, um, if they're in health and wellness, it's like, okay, what kind of, <laughs> thank you, Connie. I really appreciate that, you guys. This is awesome. I just love sharing because, hey, I struggled and banged my head for so long. <laughs> and so, and now that I'm on the sunny side of life, I just want everyone to be there with me. So, um, you know, if they're in health and wellness, you know, what kind of foods should they not be eating, especially after Christmas, that can reduce their inflammation of their joints and their aches and pains and their bloaty puffy. So think about um, maybe they are um, with you know wanting to do their skin better you know maybe you can be sharing it's like you know did you know that you know these five foods can make your skin glow message me for the other five and I'll give them to you so think about the um, really think about what problems um, that you can solve from the imagined potential problems of pains and struggles and desires that your specifically targeted market wants so work it backwards. Um, it can be a lot of fun. Um, I'm just so happy to share these tips with you guys. If you guys got some value out of this, definitely, you know, give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you're thinking. If you, um, I'm really excited because I had a bunch of questions asking when my next branding webinar was um, to help you stand out and shine online and how to draw people and how would it feel if you didn't have to change your friends and family anymore if you actually have people coming to you. So yes, I will be sharing the dates of these webinars coming up. I was just trying to give everyone some family and friend time and love over our holiday season. Um, but I'm, hey, just like you, I'm ready to rock and roll right now, uh, building momentum forward into 2017. So keep an eye out on my fan page, which is at the Roxy Lynch up top. So make sure you go there, you like it, you turn notifications on, because that's where I'm going to be sharing all the webinars and any other free trainings and webinars, um, workshops, all that fun stuff to really inspire and enlighten and empower us ladies forward for 2017. So I will see you guys on the sunny side of life tomorrow. And you guys have a fabulous Thursday night. Talk to you guys later. Bye guys.